let us uh, work with uh, clipping planes now suppose you want to add a clipping plane which exactly clips this uh, at this angle say now what we can do is we can just add three points and then uh, have a clipping plane that passes through those three points so for example we have a point here here and here I am using shift and left click to add a point and then press press space bar and give clip now what the clip will do is it will add a clipping plane which passes through these three points so press ok and you have a clipping plane that passes through these three points now the way or the normal of the clipping plane depends upon the the order in which the the points are introduced so for example let me just hover over the clipping plane and press delete to remove the clipping plane so press delete to remove the clipping plane now instead of adding the points uh, in this uh, order so first point here second and third we let's add it in this way so first point second point and third point here and then press space bar and give clip now the clip is um, because of the order of the points we are getting a slightly different clipping plane uh, what we want is essentially a rotated one so press uh, so hover over the clipping plane press space bar and then what we want is rotate full 180 degrees about either red or green axis so we want to rotate so rotate rotate about say A axis rotate A and full 180 degrees so we can have the clipping plane going through these three points now a use of clipping plane is apart from say for example Im uh, embedding captions or images what you can do is use the clipping plane to reorder your uh, reorient your camera so for example i want to look at the um, or at this video uh, at this um, data from a particular angle say for example um, say right um, the view vector should pass right through this blue axis then what we can do is just hover over the camera and then press space bar and then reorient the camera so once we reorient the camera the camera will the view vector the center of your screen uh, window will be exactly on the center of this clipping plane now if you for example rotate this clipping plane say about this blue axis so hover over the clipping plane use uh, left mouse button click this mouse button and then you can rotate about any of the blue or green or red axis and then we can just reorient the camera so for example like that press space bar and then reorient camera so this is how we can use clipping plane to reorient the camera now we can also use clipping plane to say uh, just uh, embed an image so for example say clipping plane and then hover over the clipping plane and then press space R. we can add a caption so for example caption it will pop up a caption dialog so we have a caption here okay okay so this is our caption and then we can just rotate the caption so I am hovering over the clipping plane pressing Z and then rotate the clipping plane and then it's done this caption is embedded into your 3D volume if you don't want the caption you want to remove the caption you can either remove the clipping plane by hovering over, over the clipping plane and press delete or you can press uh, space bar and then give caption no similarly you want to embed an image press uh, space bar uh, while hovering over the caption and then give image so we have an image say let's 
embed that image. So this is, this is the image that I have here. And I can increase the size of the image. So hover over the clipping plane and then use control and then right mouse button. Control and then right mouse, right mouse button and drag and then you can change the size of the image. Now I, I want to say make this image a bit transparent. So again hover over the clipping plane and then give opacity. So there is an opacity here. This opacity and you can change the opacity. Say opacity 0.5 and then clipping plane. This image is is transparent now. Again, if you want to remove the image, press the space bar and then give image and then no. Now instead of image, you want a solid color. Again, hover over the clipping plane, press color. Sorry, press solid color. Solid color here. So you'll get a solid color. By default, you get a purplish color. You can change the color. Let's give color and then you can change the color. And again also you can change the opacity. So opacity 1. So this way you can use your clipping plane in a multiple way. Also you can add multiple clipping planes. So see you have a clipping plane here, another, and then you can move around and so on. So you can have multiple clipping planes.